big question is why have the uh, the authorities not come out with answers concrete answers sharp answers and most importantly why is no fir been filed against the college management let me go across to shomit joining us live with more details shomit you know all of this goes back to the 3rd of november these are details of what the victim maintains in his complaint what can you tell us about the action so far as so far that has been taken a by the college and b by the police Well, initially, you know, actually, the incident has happened on the November first, and later that matter has, got, you know, has got. Has has you know has has escalated to the management by the victim himself he has actually you know uh, clearly given a complaint uh, to the management stating that he was brutally beaten up he was made to forced to chat jai mata di allah akbar and also you know even he has stated that one of the senior reva who has led the entire incident he even tried to you know put his uh, uh, you know private parts into you know uh, his mouth even that was mentioned in the complaint and later <clears throat> you know college management didn't uh, you know initiate any action that is what we have heard from the police sources and later you know he has approached the uh, commissioner of police of the cyberabad the juris, you know cyberabad jurisdiction and later that matter was sent to the dcp and to the sho sho went to the management management then said that inquiry said inquiry you know uh, committee has been set up and they are inquiring into the matter but however they have also told the police that initially it was just a very small matter happened in the campus and uh, that's how you know police was misled initially and later you know video came out and after videos came out the sensitivity of the case has you know uh, was known to the police and then they have immediately initiated the action the videos were out on 10th of november and on 11th you know they have registered a case under relevant sections of ipc including attempt to murder 307 physical assault 323 threatening 506 and also section you know 4 of uh, of a telangana prohibition of ragging act so these all sections were you know uh, imposed and uh, five accused have been arrested including one senior was arrested so in this 10 accused actually police book 10 accused persons in this case in this 10 accused eight are juniors that means you know they are the batchmates of the victim and two are the seniors and one of the senior that is reva who actually you know and let and this entire gang and he was the one who can be seen thrashing the victim since the beginning so even he was the one who said that we will beat him to coma he, he was the one who said you know we will fix his ideology then he also you know uh, you know see we, we can be seen in the video he was sitting on the chest he was trying to break the hand of the victim so you know uh, this all episode happened on the november first later police have registered a case now we are hearing that police are going to book the college management as well because okay. you know college management initially didn't initiate any action when the victim has approached the management and finally you know uh, after that police uh, you know police have also noticed that it was uh, the delay from the college management and that was the reason victim was you know um, was depressed okay. and finally approached the commissioner okay, of police okay so you are Sabarabad. learning and this is so, very you know, important that finally an fir might be lodged against the college authorities as well and that's the question the times now also continues to ask at this very hour before i go across to swapnil kothari mithun vijay kumar and khaleku rahman who continue to be with us along with madhav my colleague these are the unanswered questions and this is what we want you to focus on viewers why did the college not act on its own about the assault case and we're asking this question because it is upon the complaint by the victim that the college finally took some action and just by the way that's also very questionable because they ended up suspending others along with the victim himself in this case what action did the college take after victim's letter on the 3rd of november while this letter was written on the 3rd of november there seems to be a constant consistent delay on part of the college authorities to come out with a strict action against those accused why did the college ad college administration not report the assault case to the police why is it that this was not uh, raised by the college authorities itself why is it that the college authorities tried to brush this aside so that their own image does not get tarnished why was the victim suspended for his private leaked chats now this is what lies at the bottom of, of this entire episode that it was leaked chats of the victim in which he allegedly made some derogatory remarks about prophet muhammad and that is what led to this that is what led to some men some seniors colleagues of his in his college to thrash him uh, harass him and beat him up like that also force him to raise those slogans why no action against the college for covering up the assault so this is the big question shomit though is telling us that action is likely to be taken against the college authorities as well madhav if i could come to you 
Several questions come to light and these are the unanswered questions but the biggest question at the moment is being asked of the college administration, the college authorities. Why the delay? Why no action against the students involved despite this letter having been written by the victim and he in turn himself was suspended by the college authorities? Well, it's a very, very shocking case, uh, absolutely perverse behavior and how can, you know, the college authorities and management who are supposed to protect the interests of students, you know, allow for this kind of perverse behavior. This is something that uh, really, of course, uh, uh, is an absolutely shocking case, not just the violence, not just the uh, torture that this uh, uh, student has had to undergo, but also the fact that those who are supposed to protect him, those who are supposed to ensure that the ragging incident that took place once it came to their light, appropriate action was taken against those students who were the perpetrators as well as police should have immediately been approached. That has not happened in this particular case and therefore the college management is definitely going to be liable and as Swamit is telling us now the police also taking that action because they were initially misled by the same college management uh, and so that's something the police also has now thankfully taken note of. But for the individual who has undergone this kind of torture, both physical, sexual and all sorts of mental torture as well, because those videos that are circulating in his complaint, he very well says, is leading to an extremely humiliating and embarrassing situation for him as a student. And he is even having suicidal thoughts is the statement that has been given in that complaint. So it's certainly a very, very uh, important case over here. And what is shocking, as we have been mentioning, is why the college management has completely failed to uphold its own responsibilities in this particular case and ensure justice for the victim of the struggle. All right, since there is, a, you know, a legal action that is now uh, being taken, we'll go across to Swapnil to understand the legalities of this case. But first up, I want to go across to Mr. Khaliko Rahman to really understand, you know, why this kind of an incident was allowed to take place and thereafter this silence from across. This happened in Hyderabad, happened within the college premises. A man's, a, ch uh, a student's private conversation leaked. It was leaked on social media. That led to this kind of an assault on him and upon him highlighting this with the college administration, nothing was done about it. Instead, he too was suspended along with some other colleagues of his. Good, uh, good afternoon to all my co-panelists and to all the viewers. Uh, in fact, uh, the police is investigating the role of the col uh, college for reporting this incident uh, so late to the police and for misleading the police uh, with regard to the sensitivity of uh, the incident. The moment it came to the notice of the police, police immediately took the action and uh, arrested the uh, five boys and also book them under, uh, you know, the relevant IPC sections, section 307, which is an attempt to murder and the other relevant IPC sections, which, uh, you know, the intimidating and assaulting and the prevention of the ragging act. But what is, you know, important here is the mentality because these, the students, in fact, who was beaten brutally, you know, he is an innocent student and so are the students of all over colleges. But unfortunately, the mindset of the students and especially the ones who have beaten and also the mindset of all no, but the what, students. What gives the impacted. right or the permission uh, to the college authorities to suspend the victim in this case? What's his fault? But, none, uh, see, there is no fault of the victim, no, but uh, the mentality which is creeping into the college and leading to this kind of uh, this thing. First, uh, what I see that it started just, uh, you know, as a routine ragging case, but later on it was escalated and it has taken such a serious uh, turn. But uh, what is to be seen, uh, you know, uh, behind this uh, is uh, that this victim was, uh, you know, forced to sh uh, chant the slogans, uh, which, uh, where this mentality is coming from so we have to address the root cause of this we have to you know make sure that uh, this mentality does not creep into our educational institutions because it is the future of our country we, 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 who are there studying in these colleges so uh, this is for that a very for that <laughs> there is a strict word something that needs to come in from the government's end as well. And that's exactly why we put this question to you as to what is it that the TRS government has done to make sure that this kind of an action or this kind of an incident doesn't repeat in the near future because this is extremely shocking and quite bizarre that the college administration failed to take any concrete action 